Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? How you guys doing? My beard is all jacked up. <laughs> oh, man, a lot's going on, man. Anyway, I, I want to... I want to I want to spread out some uh, nuggets of knowledge out, man. All right. I was told by my friend Gerald, he's also um, a contractor, you know, doing in the PMP field. Um, I will, you know, he he told me about this uh, this this website. Um, it's called Property Preservation Forum. Not forum, but forum. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I got a little speech problem sometimes with words that I never bothered to learn. Anyway, so it's called Property Preservation Forum. What this website is, I think it could be a valuable tool to 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 to, to um, you know to have when it comes to preservation work. It gives you information on a bunch of companies, um, people are sharing their experiences. Um, and you know, I, I just glanced at it real quick. Not just glanced. I spent about five minutes on the shit. I read something on there about how Five Brothers is getting sued out in Jersey uh, for fucking people over, and um, and there was another company out there getting sued as well. So yo, y'all guys go on there, man. Um, you know, you can learn from these people and see what exactly is going on, man, because. There's a lot of stuff there, man. For for you guys, for you new jacks, and for for for, us, for guys like this too. I'm still a new jack, so you know. Um, so go on there, go check it out. Tell me what you think. You know. Um. What else? The other nugget of knowledge is about. Um. I don't know if you guys are noticing. You know. Um. Where I'm at. The. Some of these properties are starting to be sold, and um, I've seen a couple work orders, like for for big work, a lot of work. Like right now, I got a a, a work order up in Yonkers or down in Yonkers for um, to fix all the fucking windows. This is something normally not given to me. You know, usually give me, you know, even if all the windows are fucking boarded up, patch up. You know, replace two windows, remove boarding and board up. I mean, and, and put up two windows. So these properties are being sold, and um, you know, so you guys, man, interested in buying property that have a little paper stacked up, yo, now is the time. Now is the time, man. Especially if you're buying cash. Um, I'm going over the Bemont Bridge. Yeah, oh, Bermont, um, I'm in a Bermont Parkway heading towards Bermont Bridge. Look. <laughs> it's crazy, this road. Um, I, 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 I've been looking at this website for years already, and it's called BiggerPocketsREO.com. Um, just Google BiggerPocketsREO free listing. And go on the second one, not on the top one, but the second one. And then you're gonna scroll like all the way down to the page. And as you're scrolling down, you're gonna see all these these companies. Like one is called Home Path. They they sell um strictly um Fannie Mac properties. And there are tons and tons and tons and tons of properties on there. I'm actually looking at two houses to get my hands on to. Um, so if you guys want to do the same, go ahead, man. You know, it's, you know, if you're in a preservation field, you already know we do it all. So, um, that's what I'm doing. But I'm thinking, um, about not flipping them, just like renting them out income, you know, slow income, slow money, but good money, legit money, <laughs> you know, and, and over time, you know, once you put in some money into these houses, man, you, you, you basically making it more you know you're gonna get your money back no matter what you do um so I'll look into that um I'm driving extremely slow because it's raining well, the roads are slippery a bunch of leaves don't matter what kind of tires you got man um 
Yeah, if you get a, if you get on a good patch of uh, leaves and the road is wet, you're gonna fucking slide. So just take your time. You know, I'm doing 35 on the mountain. Um, you don't need to rush anymore. You know, season's dying. Slow season's coming. Anyway, um, I got custody of my son, or temporary custody of my son. Um, you know, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck this court, man. This court system sucks. They fucking suck. They're slow. They they just yeah. Justice is slow in this country, man. And um, I just don't get it, man. It's, anyway, I got custody of my son. Uh, things has has slowed down for me. Um, by choice, though. By choice. It's not because I can't get the work done. It's because I chose to chill out. Um, you know, I, about two months ago, me and my main client, you know, he really fucking pissed me off, man. So I just deaded him, like, like, yo, take all these shits back. And it ain't the first time I've done it. You know, it's like the third time I've done it to them. They know you pissed me off. I'll dead you for a couple months. You'll call me. I don't fucking call you. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm just being honest, man. You know, um, but yeah, uh, I got custody of my son. Um, I, I scaled back on work a lot, you know, even though I got a crew, but you know, they're fairly new, fairly fresh, you know, one has experience on preservation work and the other one's just a fucking helper. Um, but you know, they're getting shit done. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hard as well. Reason why I, I chose to scale back was because of my son's needs. You know, um, you know, I have to be very interactive with him and with his school, um, his doctors, because he has a, a heart issue. So I gotta stay on top of that. Um, and the fact that he's overweight as well, you know, it doesn't help. So um, I gotta, I gotta be going back and forth to doctors here and there. You know, and it really is, you know, time consuming, man. Things don't happen like I make it happen, you know. It's like I just want to be in and out, get over it, get it done and get it over with, you know. I guess that's the way I've I've grown accustomed to, to being this way because of this business. But um, it is what it is, you know. Um, so that's that. Uh, I have major 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 contracts i got this one it's gonna it's worth about a hundred and fifty thousand dollars i'm just waiting on the email man i've been on my phone all day checking emails on and off on and off on and off on and off and um and i just i need my fucking contract man but this thing is huge it's a complete rebuild um I got a couple other contracts, one for like 11,000, another one like for 10,000, another one like 15,000. And then um I still got like two more in Maine that I have to go to. Um they're about 8,000 a piece. So I'm busy, man. You know what I mean? I just I got to find time now to get to that. Yeah, I want to get all the little ones out and start the big one, you know, like do the demo. And then that'll buy me a couple of weeks so I can finish up the other ones. Um so you know, a lot's happening, man. A lot is happening. Um, I am about to put an ad out for another crew. But this time, I'm going to look for experienced contractors. Anybody in the Hudson Valley looking for a job, send me a message on YouTube. <laughs> now, nah, I'm going to put an ad out on Craigslist looking for experienced um, property preservation workers. And let's see what I get, man. But I'm just sick of getting fucking retards, though, man. Oh, I got heartburn. I drank some juice. It just gives me heartburn. Um, yeah. So I'm excited. You know, I got a van ready, ready to go. Another van. I got another van on the road. I gotta make a video about this van. Um, you know, things are happening. It's just overwhelming though man sometimes man um honestly three years ago i wouldn't imagine me being where i'm at now never so hard work pays off man 
So, like I always say, man, invest, invest, invest. Invest into your business, invest into your future. You know, um, just just keep, you know, keep pursuing it, man. Um, I promise you, you're going to be okay, man. You know. Anyway, that's what's going on to my end. Hopefully, my little nuggets of knowledge. Um, you, don't even call, you can't even call it nuggets of knowledge. Call it whatever the fuck you want. I'm going up Ben Mountain Bridge now. I don't know if you guys can see that. Fucking beautiful. I don't know if you guys saw anything or is it too foggy or whatever? Foggy. Yo, you guys want to know how Jamaicans say fag? Fog. You ever hear them, T? Speak, man. Yo, you're a bunch of fogs. <laughs> anyway, guys, peace.